In lesson 5.4, we're going to use the things that we've talked about with exponents and logarithms to solve equations. So all of these here in number one, we've actually solved these before. Um, we just kind of need to think about how we've been solving them and put it all together. So in A, we have 2 to the x equals 512. We can solve this one using the one-to-one -one property because this one we have 2 to the x. And if we can write 512 as a power of 2, then we can just solve it using the 1 to 1 property. And I believe it is 2 to the 9th. So since we have a base 2 and base 2, we can just kind of ignore those bases, and we're going to say that x equals 9. Now let's take a look at this next one. We have log base 6 of x equals 3. Well, we could just rewrite this in exponential form. 6 to the 3rd equals x. And of course, 6 to the third is 216. So that's our solution. All right, on the next one, I'm going to add the e to the x to the other side. So I get 5 equals e to the x. And then I'm going to rewrite that um, in logarithmic form. So this is log base e of 5 equals x. So just rewriting that in logarithmic form and we'll have x equals uh, whatever that is when you put it in the calculator, 1.609. And the last one, I'm going to use the 1 to 1 property again. I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared, so I have 3 squared to the x. I can write, rewrite 1 third as 3 to the negative 1. So then I've got 3 to the 2x equals 3 to the negative 1. Since the bases are the same, I can kind of ignore those and just say that 2x has to equal negative 1, so x is negative 1 half. So these are all the different ways that we have solved these, or we can solve them. Now, I'm not going to make any hard rules for you, like when it looks like this, do this. That's what you need to figure out. That is your problem-solving skills. But some strategies that you have, you can get the same base and use the one-to-one -one properties. That's what we did in A and D. Um, we can rewrite an exponential equation in logarithmic form. That's what we did in C. Or we can rewrite a logarithmic equation into exponential form, which is what we did in B. So any of those strategies might work. It just depends on what type of problem we have. So let's take a look at a few more of these. Um, we want to solve these equations. We have e to the 2x equals e to the x squared minus 8. This is a one-to-one -one property. Okay, they both have base e. There's nothing else in the problem, so you can just kind of ignore the e. We have 2x equals x squared minus 8. I'm going to bring the 2x over to the other side. And this is just a quadratic. Um, we're going to solve that by factoring. So x minus 4, x plus 2. So our solutions will be 4 and negative 2. Okay. So starting out with just the one-to-one -one property for that. Um, the next one, well, let's see. I'm going to at least start by dividing by 2. Seems like a good place to start. So we have 5 to the x equals 16. Um, I can't use a one-to-one -one property because I can't get the same basis. So let's rewrite this in logarithmic form. This is log base 5 of 16 equals x. Yeah, that'll work. That's the same thing as 5 to the x equals 16. Now, I can't put that in my calculator, but remember we talked about the change of base formula, so I can use that. So we can just say x is going to be the log of 16 over the log of 5. You can also use natural log for that. And we end up with 1.723. All right, let's check out number 3. I'm going to start by adding 7 to both sides. So we have e to the x equals 30. Um, definitely can't use the 1 to 1 property here. Um, I'm in exponential form, and I can't do anything with it. So let's go to logarithmic form. This is log base e, which is natural log of 30 equals x. So that's just rewriting it. Um, and then when I put that in my calculator, natural log of 30, we'll find that x equals 3.4. All right, well, let's do one more of these. 
So we want to solve this. We are supposed to round it to three decimal places, um, which tells me we'll have to use the calculator at some point. So I'm going to start out just like a normal equation. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So I have 6, 2 to the t plus 5. Well, 7. I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So I have 2 to the t plus 5 equals 7, 6. All right. Um, now I think I'm going to have to... Uh, I need to get this exponent down. Oh, I'll show you one of my favorite ways to do that. So do we see that we have the t up here and the exponent? And I need to bring that down. So one way we can bring that down is to use our down and front property. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. It doesn't matter which one, I could take the log of both sides. But remember with our properties of logarithms, that'll bring this down in front. So we have t plus 5 times the natural log of 2 equals the natural log of 7, 6. Now, natural log of 2, that's just a number, so I can divide both sides by the natural log of 2. Those cancel. So now I have t plus 5 equals natural log of, oh, sorry about that. Natural log of 7, 6 divided by natural log of 2. Um, and that I can just put into my calculator um, and, and then subtract 5. Okay. So you're going to do this natural log mess in your calculator, then you're going to subtract 5, and you get negative 4.778. Okay, so a lot of the properties going back and forth between logarithm uh, form and logarithmic form and exponential form, um, that can help us solve and also using that down in front property.